Today, we're going on a journey. So because I was busy filming and distracted, I got on the wrong bus. And so now I'm dropped off in the middle of nowhere, waiting for the next bus to transfer. I said this was gonna be a journey, didn't I? All right, through security, heading to my gate, doing about the most obvious thing I can do to bring attention to myself, feeling really awkward as if, you know, the outfit wasn't enough. I got the camera and the tripod and everything and looking really ridiculous, but oh well. So my gate is already filled with people and I'm not too comfortable filming around people so I found this empty gate and we're gonna have a little talk. It may surprise a lot of people that there are thousands of people like me, religious, all around the country because you rarely ever see us. For the most part, we don't wear our habits or our religious garb outside in public and I completely understand why most people don't do it. It brings a lot of attention to us, it's awkward and especially when traveling, people just wanna relax and they don't wanna be on or working. And yet if our goal is to evangelize, to meet people where they are, to share the message of the gospel. I can't think of a better way than to have a visible symbol so that people can see us and interact with us in conversations. Here at an airport you have people from all over the country, from all walks of life, with different beliefs and different problems they're dealing with, and they have a lot of time to kill. It's amazing how many people have come up to me, not just today, but every time I travel in my habit, and they ask for prayers, they want to talk about how they used to be Catholic, or ask questions that they never knew the answers to. I even welcome those people that are just angry, and they want to lash out at me and share their hatred of the church. They carry around heavy burdens for whatever reason, and maybe this is the only opportunity that someone will listen to them to offer reconciliation. I want to offer that. I don't wear my habits so that people will notice me, I'll get attention or special treatment. I wear my habits so that I can be radically available to whatever the needs of the people are. I understand why people wouldn't want to wear it in an airport, especially when you're going on vacation. But for me, wearing my habit is so essential to my vocation because this is what I'm called to do, to evangelize, to be a presence in the world. So case in point, I was sitting there filming and there was this little boy sitting next to me and I could hear him talking to his mom and he was clearly uncomfortable. And I kept hearing his mom say, well, just ask him, well, ask him. And so I looked at him and he smiled and he said, what are you? <laughs> so we had a nice conversation and he said he wanted to be a Marine when he was older. So I made the analogy that we're kind of like the Marines of the church. We go on mission, we do the things that people don't want to do and we don't ask a whole lot in return. And he said, oh, I, I like that. And so we talked a little bit and he told me about sports. And just think, I would have never had that interaction or been able to talk about the friars or Jesus or anything like that if I'd have been in jeans. So as I awkwardly walk around the airport looking for empty spots where I can go film where most people won't be looking at me, I'm reminded of my very first video two and a half years ago when I got the camera and I was going on the road trip. So I'm not sure which is more conspicuous, the fact that I'm here at an airport in my habit or that I'm talking to myself to a camera. Uh, I've had some interesting conversations already. One guy came up to me and said, hey man, are you for real? Said, yeah, yeah, I'm for real, real deal. Love it. It was so awkward and I was so bad and it just makes me cringe to go back and look at those videos. But we all have to start somewhere and I'm just thankful for all the things I've learned and all the people who've supported me along the way.
All right. She doesn't know she's about to be on camera. Hello. Can you only take something? Yes, you can take this. <laughs> sure, I'll take the heavy <laughs> stuff. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Yes, well. Welcome, hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. You can get in the front. Your pizza and I have